Hello and welcome to this tutorial on creating custom borders. There are a number of Photoshop plugins that can add borders to your images, but this technique is quick and simple and allows you to create borders that are fully customizable for each image you take. In this demonstration, I'm going to add a border to this image of gloves. On screen now is the image that we are going for, but this technique creates unique borders each time you use it, so our end result of this demonstration is likely to be slightly different. So let's get started. Here is our original image. I've already processed this image. I've taken a color image, changed it to black and white, and added a tone to it, added a uh, white vignetting. So now what I want to do is finalize this by putting a border on it. So we're going to start by choosing the rectangle marquee tool up here on your Photoshop toolbar. Go ahead and you can kind of decide the thickness of your border just by where you create your selection. So in this case, I'm going to go about a half an inch, quarter, about a half an inch, and I'm going to create a square. Now, one thing you should know is if right now you'll see that the feathering, which is up here in the top left corner, is, is at zero pixels, which is creating a square edge. If you want to round your edges, all you need to do is increase the feather um, at the selection stage. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave this at zero. The next step is to choose refine edge and make sure that our selection is on white. So we go ahead, click out. You want to choose the smart radius and you want to take the smart radius all the way up to 100 or excuse me, all the way up to the top, not necessarily 100 pixels. You can change this. Um, you can make it any sort of density you want by just sliding, uh, creating the slider. I personally like jagged edges, so I tend to bring this up quite a bit. Um, so that I can kind of create the deep hollows that you see here. The next thing you want to do is, um, I kind of do this a little bit out of order, but I go to my output because I want to make sure I get this right, and I go ahead and I say layer mask. That way I'm not, um, I'm going to create a layer mask with the pixels as opposed to just wiping out actual pixels. Um, the other thing that you can do here at this stage is to change your smoothness, your feather, your contrast, and you can also shift the edge. So I like to add a little bit of contrast. I like it to be pretty clear what I'm doing when I'm creating an edge. So if you bring this up, you'll see that these get sharper. And you can feather the edges, which again smooths it out. You can smooth the edges, which also is a smoothing, kind of adds a blur. And you can shift your edges making it bigger and smaller. So even though you might select a half an inch, you, you want a quarter an inch, you can also correct that here. You don't have to be precise on your selection because this tool allows you to um, move this, the edge back and forth. So when you're done, you go ahead and you hit OK. Now, if you want a white border, or actually in this case, there is nothing. It has taken the pictures out because I don't have a layer underneath. Um, as you can see, it's created a layer mask over here on the right hand side, and it's also taken our background layer and made it layer zero. Now, what you want to do to create your color, whether that color be black, white, or any color in the spectrum, you can go ahead and add a solid color layer. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and pick our eyedropper, which is your color selection tool. Again, over on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see that I've picked up the dropper. In this case, I want the um, border to be slightly darker than the image itself and also than the white um, vignette that I added. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick a color. And in this case, I mean, I don't have to pick a color within the image. I'm choosing to, but you'll see in a minute it won't matter because we can change it to any color we want once the, the original uh, selection is made. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a color. Um, now that I've got my color, I come over to um, the layers tool and I want to add a solid color layer. You'll see that it automatically comes up and has in, and uh, created a layer with the color that I selected. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. The next step, because now our picture is gone, is to take our layer zero and put it on top of our color layer, and we have our border. Now, if I decided that this wasn't really the color that I wanted, all I need to do to fix this is to double click on the layer palette and I can drag my color selection anywhere I want in the spectrum, all the way to black, back up all the way to white. So the cool thing is, is that you can make this decision and make adjustments to it or correct it at any time. Now, because I kind of like the brown color, I'm going to go ahead and move back into that direction and hit OK. 
Although we can consider ourselves done at this stage, you may decide that you want to make some further adjustments to the layer mask. Maybe you've decided it's just too dense for your image, or you want to add a feathering that you didn't that you didn't think was going to be necessary when you were finding edge. Well, that's okay because we can still make those adjustments as well. Um, what you need to do now is actually select on your layer mask itself. So not the image, not the color fill, but the actual mask. And then you can go to uh, window and properties if you don't already have it installed. I have always keep it on an easy toolbar tool to reach. But if you go ahead to windows and properties and select, uh, select properties, you will see this um, tool area come up. And what this will allow you to do is actually either change the density of the mask. So as you can see, I'm lightening the mask up. And, and frankly, if I take it all the way out, I'm right back to where I started with my white vignette. But you can make it as dense as you like. I happen to like it dark. Um, if you want to change the feathering of what you've created, you can go ahead and do that by sliding this feathering tool here. So you do have options as well once the mask is created in addition to changing the color. So this is a great way to create unique, customizable uh, borders for your images. Each time you do a selection and you choose Refine Edge and you go through this process, the tool will, be, will create a different border. So every image will have a different border depending on what Photoshop is seeing in the background of those pixels. Um, and a quick example of that is if we go back to our original one um, that I showed at the beginning of the tutorial, here it is, you can see that it is actually slightly different. So although they look and appear somewhat the same, you can tell that the edges kind of mirror each other, but they aren't the same. And that's what's really cool about this technique. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you'd like a written copy of this tutorial, just check out my website. The web address will follow. Take care and hope to see you here again soon.